Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a glowing white sky easy in After Effects. Let's begin. First of all make sure to duplicate your clip and then toggle off the bottom one. Now on a duplicated one, apply Luma key effect. Make sure that key type is set to key out darker and then begin increasing threshold. And as you do you will see that the darker areas are turning black and that means they are getting cut out. In my case 92 looks fine. Do not bump up threshold too much, because the sky will get cut out as well and it will turn all in black. We need keep the sky bright as it is. Once it's okay to you, bump up edge feather just a little bit. I think 12 is enough. Note, do not copy my settings, because the videos are different and my settings won't work for you, increase or decrease all values until you will be happy with the results. Now let's apply Lumetri color effect. Expand basic correction and I will increase exposure to around 5. Let's bump up highlights as well, I think 150 will look fine. It looks cool to me, the sky is all white and now I will apply a glow as well. I will use a deep glow plugin, in case you don't have it, make sure to DM me on Instagram a word, plugins, and then wait for my reply. In my case the glow is too much here, I will slightly decrease it. That looks better to me. Now let's toggle on our original clip, the bottom one and then we have to change blending mode on a duplicated layer, so click on toggle switches slash modes and change top layers blending mode to screen. You can now control the brightness of the sky by changing the opacity on a top layer, but in my case I think 100% looks fine. So now let's scroll to the beginning of a video and then I will mask out the sky and track that mask till the end of the video. Let's grab a pen tool and simply mask the sky something like that. Note, you can also use a roto brush tool to mask the sky, it depends on you which is more comfortable for you, but masking won't take so long and I think it's more easier to do. So once you are done masking, make sure to press F on your keyboard and increase the feather. Now expand mask 1 and then click on mask path stopwatch icon. Now let's scroll forward and correct the mask, we have to do it till the end of the layer. Let me show you what it looks like now. And that's it, we are done. Note, the perfect the mask, the better results will be. So make sure to take your time and track the mask as perfect as possible. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.